you have just today received um, a report, a comprehensive report from um, TCOS that's just been given out. And this is what Kelly's is going to take us through. He introduced us to Jose. Uh, yes. Um, yes, so uh, uh, thank you, Madam Chair, to all the councillors, and good morning, your worship, and Craig. Um, Thank you for giving me, as Chairperson of the Commonwealth Council of Social Services, the opportunity to speak to you today. I'd like to start, um, I'd like to point out that the back two pages of your uh, printer are actually the quarterly report, which if you don't have time to, if I don't have time to speak to it today, you can read it at your leisure. But I'm going to start by introducing you to Josiah for the time. Um, Josiah has recently been appointed as an interim manager of TCOS. Um, as a previous uh, manager is not with us at this time. Josiah would like to say a few words about his background and his vision for the future of um, TCOS. So without further ado, I'm going to ask Josiah to just say one thing about it. My background um, is in management uh, and leadership. Um, I have a degree in uh, specifically in mental health and I've done postgraduate papers in um, leadership and management. Uh, my, uh, my latest work has been with community Waikato around our capability and capacity building for business and organisations uh, and I've um, moved into this role since on Monday. Uh, I've also worked for the Department of Corrections as a practice leader so part of that capacity building and capability building uh, is relevant uh, towards the new role that I've been undertaking with TECOS for the next six months. I'm also uh, Chair of uh, Tukuru Touch, uh, Vice Chair of uh, South Waikato Pacific Island Community Services, uh, Pacific Sharks on the Board, um, and a number of other little things that I do for my children in their schools. Um, so I just want to uh, well, uh, just say um, kia ora, long life to you, uh, live well, and um, look, looking forward to uh, a, a, a positive uh, next six months. Thank you very much. Uh, Josiah. And Josiah is um, living in Whakaroa with his wife and five daughters, is it? Five daughters. <laughs> um, and he, um, I see him down at Lake Bohana doing um, training for these women things, so that's great. Um, before I go on to the quarterly report, I just want to go back over some things uh, that I'm sure you know and, and some things that I'm quite sure you don't know. Um, TCOS is an essential service for the South Waikato and also the Mangakino area and it's based at the Tokoroa Community Centre, Tuttock House, Tokoroa Hospital and this large building houses a variety of permanent services which are funded through the Ministry of Social Development, Great Potentials and the South Waikato District Council. <laughs> we have 23 staff at TCOS and the services that are, that are provided are family support services um, this provides in-home assistance and support to families with children in regards to issues within their lives such as SIF involvement, working in-home, food parcels, etc. And this service has been provided by TCOS since 1989. Uh, social workers in schools, four people fill these positions and work in SR1 to 3 schools in Tokoroa, Pataru, Whakamari and Marikino. The service has been provided by TECOS since 2000. Parents as first teachers, commonly known as PAFT. Um, this service provides tutors to work with families in the home where children are aged one to three. The families supported rate, uh, the family supporter rate this service very highly and TECOS has been providing this service since 2001. The Early Years Service Hub, this service 
is to provide assistance to families within the South Waikato and Mankino who have children <coughs> not to six years old who need advice and information around early year services available within the district. And TECOS has provided this service since 2007 and I was just uh, talking to someone recently about how wonderful the services we have in the South Waikato are. HIPPI, that's short for a Home Interaction Programme for Parents and Youngsters. It's the next step for parents and youngsters in the children's <coughs> educational pathway and it provides parents with more hands-on assistance to ensure that their child is prepared for their schooling and this service has been provided by TECOS since 2009. The Integrated Attendance Service, and you may recognise it as what we used to call the Truancy Service, but today it provides far more comprehensive and effective provisions. The staff of three who look after the 20 schools within the South Waikato district, and this is part of the social sector trials, which I'm sure you've heard of before, because it's quite a big deal in this town, or has been. And it's been provided, um, the service has been provided since 2013. Tokoro Council of Social Services is the team that works for the organisation as a whole providing managerial, administration and financial support as well as providing a cleanup for the building. TCOS is also a fund holder for the South Waikato and Mangikino strengthening families and I think you're going to hear lots more about this service shortly and has been so since 2001. Um, the Community Centre, um, a lot of people don't really realise what a busy place it is, so I thought I'd mention this. There are 27 rooms on the first floor of the centre, and of these, 23 are utilised. 21 as offices, 2 are used for storage areas, and 1 for the TECOS files, and 1 for the curtain bank and helping hand donations, which is something where um, parents uh, or people with needs can come in and, and um, get a hand with necessities that they need. Tenants within the centre include TCOS, a clinical psychologist, the Stroke Foundation, homeopathic therapist, Care New Zealand, Cambridge Midwives, independent councillors time two, Overdale Community Centre Councillors, South Waikato Living Without Violence Trust. The rooms that are not leased are utilised by groups of individuals on a regular basis such as counsellors times three, a clinical psychologist, an industrial psychologist, a vocational consultant, an audiologist, a genealogy group, South Waikato Camera Club, South Waikato Patriot Group. We also have casual users for the centre such as Encore New Zealand and Employment Consultancy Group, Collaborative Solutions, an employment consultancy group, Child Youth and Family, and Head Injury Society. Um, the not for profit charitable organisations, or those providing a service that our community would otherwise not receive, will utilise, utilise our facilities free of charge. For others, such as the employment consultancy groups, they are charged a fee for use of the facilities. From the main office, administrative services are provided for a wide many members of the general public um, for typing, faxes, scanning and photocopying. And our rotary group uses the photocopying service. We also do CVs and help with employment applications and we provide general advice and information for anyone. So it's just a general um, outline of TCOS because I'm never quite sure what people know about TCOS and what people don't know about TCOS. Before I go on to the quarterly report, would anyone like to ask any questions? Yes. Yeah. In respect of uh, say people who want some um, administration services for like public company, I assume there's a charge. Uh, yes, service. Service charge. Charge. Yes, charge. And it is another way yeah. make a little bit of money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good to sort of have, I'm sure a lot of people like it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.